I want to talk to you a little bit about philosophy because I think money's spiritual. Money, money is not just what you make and what you save and what you invest, but it's how you, you relate to it in your life and your background and your experience and what you've been taught about it. How do you come to this, this money thing with people? I agree so much about that. You know, I think there's so much spirituality around it. And I, you know, I see money as something you have a relationship with, just the way you and I have a relationship, the way we have a relationship with our friends and loved ones. People forget that money is also something that we have to work on, right? So I talk a lot about that. And I talk a lot about our blind spots. So something I really focus on with my clients and other, you know, other, I, I work a lot with women and business owners. And we talk about how important it is to talk about money, right? Because without talking about money, we can't set our goals. So you really have to start there. It's really a path, right? And then once you talk about it, you set those goals, you have to look at your money. You have to look at the numbers. Many of us say, oh, I'll do it later. But later is not in the calendar, right? Later never comes, right? So we have to look at the numbers. We have to be mindful, make an appointment, whether it's with your spouse, your family member, your business partner, your advisors, make an appointment to look at the numbers, okay? And then trust. We have to trust. Trust money. We have to trust ourselves with the money. And really let go of some of those old money stories because a lot of times it's those old money stories that hold us back. So that's, that's sort of the key to my philosophy around money, those three blind spots. One of the things that you've helped me with is, you know, getting realistic about what I actually need. You know, um, I keep talking about, you know, 99-year-old Karen, I don't want her eating cat food, you know, so that drove me in a certain way. But I got to relax with you because what I thought I needed, I don't need as much as I thought I needed. But also now I can enjoy the process a little bit more because things are organized because, you know, I was doing some really crazy things out of fear, out of, you know, not being sure. And then you, uh, you, you would ask me a question, well, why are you doing that? And I didn't have a good answer. And it just made things so much easier. It's almost like, you know, we've been talking a lot on these airwaves about, you know, seeking counseling for mental health. I think everybody should have somebody that they talk to about their health. And I think everyone should have somebody that they talk to that knows what they're talking about, not going on YouTube or going down these rabbit holes, but actually talking to somebody about your money. Because a lot of times we're in our own headspace and we can't see what's around us. What are some of the biggest mistakes people make um, in terms of managing their own money? Wow, there's a lot. First of all, you know, I think not really knowing what the numbers are. So what I see a lot is we're not paying attention, right? So you're making whatever you're making, you're spending whatever you're spending. The problem is when you're not looking at it, you're spending more than you're making. So that's not sustainable and that's how we get into debt, right? Now, the other thing I see with business owners, we don't pay ourselves. You're working in a business. When you were working for an employer, you were getting a paycheck, right? So why is it that now that you own your own business, you're not paying yourself? Well, because you think, because you challenge me in this way, you think, well, I, my business needs to thrive. So you are sacrificing your paycheck to make your business thrive. But psychologically, what you've taught me is that I'm, I'm also diminishing the work that I'm putting in and I'm not paying homage to that work being valuable, which impacts the business. Exactly. It's a spirit. It goes back to the spirituality, right? You're diminishing yourself. You're not charging your worth. And essentially it's a trust that goes back to the trust we talked about. You're not trusting that you're worth that. And you're, by the way, not trusting your customers, your clients that they can pay you so that you can thrive. They can thrive and your business can thrive, right? It's, it, it's all connected at the end of the day. 866-801-8255. Uh, watcherprosper.com. And I was, you know, grateful to, to have you in because, you know, we, we tend to be selfish with the people in our lives that, that are, you know, we want to hoard all of the goodness. And I'm, I, I feel like I'm a little bit of the opposite because anytime I find something good, I want to share it. But that's how I found you because somebody was willing to share. Um, 
why does somebody need somebody like that? Because somebody called them, was like, well, who manages, who does? And I'm never, I don't have an assistant, you know, every email I answer, every phone call I take, I'm, I miss so many meetings because I manage my own calendar, which is so bad. I missed a meeting yesterday uh, that Smith had to text me. He's like, oh, they're waiting for you on this call. Uh, I was like, I, I was in a rabbit hole. I'm sorry. But this is one area that I decided a couple of years ago that I was going to pay attention to. Why is that important? Why do people need mm -hmm. somebody? Mm -hmm. when, you're let, when you're ready to let go of all those money stories and you're ready to build a future that you want to build, that you can see, live a prosperous life, you, you need to take steps, right? So taking steps, sometimes that's really scary. We all have some sort of education in something. We, do, we have an expertise in some area. Not everyone's a money expert. So you need, you need help and that's okay. I, I have people that help me with social media and marketing. I have coaches. I have wonderful people in my life to fill in the gaps that I'm not you know, great at, that aren't my area. So it's the same thing with me. People hire me or someone like me because those are the areas that they ignore. Those are the areas that they're not great at, they don't have time for. So at that point, when you're really ready to take charge of that money, you need help, right? So uh, I have people that come to me that may be business owners, maybe not. If, if they're a business owner and they've been running, they've been up and running for years and years and things just aren't organized, they're always behind on their taxes, they're not saving for them, they're not paying themselves, they're always filing late and owing money to the IRS, they have debt, right? All of those things start to pile up and it just becomes a whole whirlwind. And at some point, it's enough. Enough's enough, right? We all, we all get to the point where we've reached that capacity and we're done with living that way. And when you're done with that and you're ready to really live a prosperous life, and by the way, it's the new year. It's a perfect time to do that and to start focusing on you because money, a lot of it is about us, right? You know, we don't want to talk about money. You know, the majority of women, in fact, would rather talk about their own death spend money think about that think about that well this is one of the first years speaking of taxes that i'm not on a payment plan so i would say thank you publicly because you're like did you put aside your did you did you put aside the money did, are you i'm like yep and i'll yep. get the file early how about that it's the first That's time right. i haven't had the not not in a long time that i haven't filed an extension or missed the deadline uh because with your business you got to file in march instead of april and I always wait until april and then there's a penalty no penalties exactly. this year. No penalties. Yes, so, because we, that's right. That's right. We talk about it. We plan for it. We set money aside for it. We're not ignoring the numbers like, like people do. So having somebody to help you do that and keep you on track, it's, that, it's invaluable. Think about what you spend on those penalties. When you owe the IRS money, that's one of the highest loans you're going to take out, right? Much higher than the, I know we're going to talk about the PPP and the, the EIDL loans and all that, and we'll get to all the good stuff. But when you're not saving, you're not, you're, you're basically throwing away your future. You're throwing away your money, your, your, the money that you're saving for your future, for your future generation. So thinking about it, making a plan, setting some goals are definitely key. And let me just be clear. I know some people, oh, you have a lot of money, Karen, so they blah, 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 blah. No, when, when I started talking with Ruchi, I didn't really have any and I was not prospering. And you know you can work extremely hard and not have a lot to show for it. And I think a lot of people are in that thing, and we we tell these lies to ourselves about the, you know this condition that we're in. But sometimes you just need someone to pull that thread to show you what the possibilities are. So I want to publicly thank you for that too.